So uh, now we have all of the uh, inner pieces joined up with the edges and right now we have an equivalent of a 4x4 four four, uh, cube. Okay, We have the centers, we have the uh, edges which we have to uh, pair up and uh, that's it. So this is uh, this is going to be pretty straightforward if you've uh, already uh, solved 4 by 4 cubes. I will just go through my technique just a little bit. Uh, but I'll probably go through this fairly quickly. So I'm just going to uh, uh, set up the centers now. So this is the white. I always do the uh, white uh, first. And... Um, probably going to go maybe a little slower than I usually would anyway just because uh, I just broke something uh, just because talking and solving are difficult turn the uh, what is normally an automatic process into a uh, just a cognitive process where you actually think about it and it slows you down so I have the white center done I'm going to do the uh, assembly uh, yellow Center and whoop. <laughs> okay, these uh, these little center pieces are much smaller than a regular four by four, but it's fine. Now what I've done here is I've just uh, I put the yellow up top and I brought the uh, the single piece down and uh, so I can join it up. So I have my white, I have my yellow, and it is a B O G R. So there's the blue, and I just have one blue piece to find here. Okay. okay. And uh, again, this is nothing to do really with the mix up. Uh, plus, this is just a regular 4x4 solve, just the pieces are slightly uh, different proportions. So I have blue, orange, Need to put orange here. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay, yeah. Put away a blue piece there. I'm kind of gingerly uh, holding the, uh, the middle layers. Uh, I, I find that squeezing the middle layers helps a little bit. Uh, the, the, uh, puzzle, uh, the puzzle works really, really well. Um, it, it turns really well. But if it gets uh, misaligned a little bit, it's, uh, it does get a little locky. And, and the way it gets misaligned is that I'm just not turning it uh, very accurately. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of solving um, a little bit through a camera lens, and uh, it's a little bit uh, hard to keep it everything lined up. So I have B O G R. Everything's good, and so now I'm ready to uh, start uh, pairing up my uh, my edges. And when I talk about the the edge, I'm talking about the composite edge, which is the regular edge plus the uh, the uh, inner edge piece, the two inner edge pieces. So if I have a blue red here. Um, there's my other blue red. This is a standard 4x4 four four, uh, technique. So I'm going to uh, join those two uh, edges. And now I have a uh, yellow and blue. And what I like to do is put the uh, core, the uh, matching edge up top. Now um, this, this will have to be turned around to get it in the other uh, position. There you go. So now this will, will end up. Uh, down here when I when I join these two and all it does is uh, joins up two uh, edges at the same time I have those two and those two okay you don't have to do that it'll just uh, it just a little less efficient to do it the other way now uh, for uh, big cubes um, there's all sorts of uh, ways of uh, joining up the uh, the edges 
Uh, the technique I use is just a simple uh, edge joining uh, technique. It is possible to use a free slice or something like that, but I don't find it necessary on uh, such a small uh, cube. Okay, so orange, and this is the orange that'll join it. They have blue and white here, uh, orange and white, and uh, there you go. So I'm joining two edges at a time. So uh, red and green. Now um, this can you can get the uh, parity error where you have uh, two edges that are uh, uh, if uh, two matching edges on opposite sides at the end uh, of the solve. And the standard 4x4 uh, algorithm to fix that works just fine. And uh, oops, I'm looking for a. Uh, this is the thing about doing this on the camera. Really, everyone out there is watching and saying, hey, it's down below. <laughs> um, okay, so now this is in the top, so I'm going to have to. All I'm doing here is just um, oops, turning this edge around. I have to put the red uh, on the bottom so that it'll line up. Okay. Um, yeah, it's okay. And I have um, orange and yellow. That's what I thought. Okay. So I have my uh, orange and yellow. Orange and yellow. Okay, so those ones are opposite each other. I don't want to use those right now. Uh, not quite uh, ready to do that. I'll try and uh, break one one set apart here. Okay, yeah, and I have the same problem here. So rather than do that, doing that algorithm twice, I'll just go ahead and and do one um, edge pairing where I don't uh, do two edges. I'll just do one. I join one, and uh, that sh that may actually uh, save me from having to do that uh, algorithm. So now I have uh, red and yellow, red and yellow, and I'm looking for uh, green and yellow on the, uh, in that position. So that that works out well. Okay. So, uh, oops. I, uh, I really like the 4x4. Four four. It's one of my favorite. I actually like all the even ordered cubes. Um, it's, uh, they have some interesting parity cases. Well, um, as it turns out, okay, so I have that, and it looks like we did get the parity, which is just fine by me. And yeah, everything else is done. So so the way that the parity fix for the 4x4 four four works is the... the um, Seeing the same colored edges have to be across from each other, so I'm going to have to flip this edge right here. Okay, so now I have the white, blue, and the blue, white, and the uh, blue, uh, orange, and the blue, orange. So I'm just going to use the, the edge, uh, standard edge flipping algorithm. So it's uh, DW R U R prime F R prime F prime. R and uh, D W prime, and then you see it match those up. So now I have reduced the four by four to a three by three, and I am going to solve this four by four mix up plus exactly the same way as I solve a three by three. I'm going to make my white cross. I use a, a layer by layer method. You can use whatever method you want. I think uh, uh, some people like to do an edges first method and some uh, some people do, I don't know, there's all sorts of ways to solve this cube is what sort of makes it uh, makes it a fun hobby to have and uh, of course so I'm making the bottom cross and there we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Bottom cross. Okay, so uh, we have the uh, bottom cross made. And now I'm going to do the uh, first two layers uh, using the uh, standard uh, block building technique. Um, where you put uh, blocks on the top.
Okay, so I now have that corner done. Okay, this is probably taking me maybe a little longer than it normally would just because I'm um, demonstrating this and, and maybe just the holding this at a slightly different angle. It just doesn't take very long at all. Okay, so I have my green and an orange. Yeah, this cube really does turn quite nicely. Um, you have to make sure it's, it's aligned, which is why I'm squeezing the uh, inner layers. Okay, so now I have the uh, first two layers done, and um, it, it, this is kind of uh, an interesting uh, situation here because it gives me an opportunity to uh, show you the um, one of the parity uh, uh, situations that you can get. So uh, what we have here is a pretty classic uh, one uh, missing arm. Now this also happens on the. Uh, on the 3x3 mix-up cube, the difference is that on the 4x4, there's actually a fairly good algorithm to uh, to solve this. And uh, the algorithm is um, RW B2 B2 um, LW U2, RW prime, U2, RW, U2, F2, RW, F2, LW prime, B2. And R W two, and that fixed the uh, parity problem. Okay. That algorithm is uh, pretty standard. There's there may be other ones for fixing it, but that's uh, that's the one that I use on a four by four. So now we know what that is. That's a line, and we can just use the standard algorithm to to get the uh, rest of the cross. R U R prime U prime F prime. So now we have the rest of our cross, and now we're going to get these last two corners. And the algorithm for that is okay. so now we have this. Uh, all done, and we need to uh, settle the, uh, the last two corners, and so the corner swapping Doesn't normally happen, so I'm just I'm just really not uh, holding it uh, normally. Okay, so we ended up then with the uh, regular um, uh, end game here for a three by three. We're going to rotate the edges um, clockwise. Plus four by four, all solved. So there is a, a parity case that I will show you that you can get on the uh, four by four mix-up plus, and that is when you have two adjacent edges that are swapped, 
and the other two are good. You can also get um, the parity uh, case where opposite edges are swapped and uh, the fix is the same for both of them. Okay, This will happen also on the 3x3 Mixup Plus but uh, the, the solution is different and again the 4x4 is much easier I think to solve these. Now there is a standard algorithm for uh, fixing this and for swapping them or something. I don't do that. What I use is an edge swapping algorithm from the um, 3 by 3 by uh, 4 uh, uh, cubes or the 3 by 3 by whatever uh, cubes um, and it's very easy on an even ordered cube because you can use it um, and it's clean it doesn't affect any other part of the cube so what I do is I put one of the bad pieces on one side put a good piece on the other side and then the uh, the, the other bad piece can be uh, anywhere um, top or bottom and you just uh, do a uh, UW um, R uh, UW2 R2 um, F2 and now I'm going to uh, do a 180 degree turn of this inner slice here I'd be like a U little U2 then an F2 and an R2 and now a UW2 now you're going to look at me and you're going to say, but Pete, it's not fixed. But actually it is because this one's good. And you'll see we have three edges out of place, but we can do a uh, counterclockwise rotation. And uh, then they'll be good. And that's the reason I use that particular uh, algorithm. It's just um, easy to use. And uh, it, it's something I already know how to do. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the only parity case uh, I need to show you and thanks for watching.